I think the most important thing about NCO 2020 is making sure that we're not blindsided about what we're doing right now. It's been able to take a look at um, what we need in the future for our non-commissioned officers in order to maintain the competitive nature that we have to, to be successful as the dominant force of the world. Um, we don't know what the answers to that are, but we should not uh, limit ourselves by what we do now or our uh, capabilities that we have now as we move forward with our analysis and our research. I think we need to design uh, products that enhance the performance of non-commissioned officers for the future um, and meet the needs of the Army as outlined by the Chief Staff of the Army for the future. I think that we're, one of the major changes we're going to see is how, well, really there's a lot, of few, a lot of changes. The who, what, when, where, why, and how is what we're... So who are we training? Uh, we know who our audience is. We have a good idea. But what we really want to do is how do we train them, when do we train them with regards to when they're trained in their careers. Where do we train them? So is that in an institutional environment? Do we train them better in the organization? Or do we train them better through self-development domains? Or is it a complimation of all three and a, a critical balance of all three? And then how do we train them? How do we deliver that training to our maximum capability at each one of those levels through each domain? I would say that I, I believe it's critical that, um, that we make this a part of uh, the NCO Corps. NCO 2020 is not just a trade-off program. It's an Army program. It's an Army initiative that supports the Army profession and the future of the, uh, of the Army as we move forward in our outlying years. It's critical that uh, every component of the Army is represented, the National Guard, the Reserve, and the active duty, as well as uh, the Forces Command um, and AMC and the ASSEs. So I think that uh, this entire Army program that gets at a larger professional development system that enhances the performance of our non-commissioned officers for the future. Even though the survey has, uh, we've terminated the survey, there had to be a deadline so we can start uh, compilation of the data. But non-commissioned officers still can still use their chain of command, the TRADOC website, or the NCO Corner, which is posted on the CAC website, and links are there from the Army website as well as AKO, to provide input on what they think they need for non-commissioned officer professional development in the future. So the time's not up just because the survey's over. Um, actually, it's ongoing, and we expect it to be. Um, we intend to do surveys uh, in the future, um, just like this, to continue to enhance and find uh, and find what we need to do to enhance the performance of our NCOs. Um, but if uh, a non-commissioned officer didn't get the opportunity to take the survey now, uh, their voice can still be heard through multiple means.